Hey guys, I'm going to quickly show you guys how to build an eclipse viewer in case you guys don't have those special glasses or for a special telescope or um, camera filter. So all you'll need is a box, a piece of paper, some scissors, some tape, uh, a thumbtack or bobby pin, uh, a marker, and um, some foil which is not pictured here. So the, the way this generally is going to work is basically you're going to cut a hole here, put some foil over it, take a thumbtack, put a hole into it, and then cut a hole here uh, into the box. What's going to happen is the, sh the sun will shine directly onto this foil and into that, um, or through that hole that you, that you made in the box. Um, and what will happen is when you look through here, in the box, you'll see a projection uh, on the inside over here of the image. Now the image won't be too big, but uh, it may be not this big or whatnot, but you'll be able to see a nice clear outline of the, of the sun and then the moon um, passing in front of it. Um, so I'm going to quickly put this together uh, and then we'll see um, how it looks. So building this contraption is fairly easy. So as you can tell, the piece of paper that I had, I kind of cut it and I pasted it along this side here. And the reason I did that is because this is going to act like a projection screen. So if you can get white paper, it's optimal. If you can't get white paper, just use the cardboard, it'll, just, it'll be fine. What I did with the marker is kind of trace out some tentative holes that I'm going to cut through the, the board here. Um, this hole here um, is actually going to be for the foil. Uh, it doesn't need to be as large. I can even cut it smaller, but I just did for just reference. Um, the bigger is what for the aluminum, where the aluminum foil will go. Basically, you're going to cut a piece here and then tape it along the edges. And then, like I said earlier, you're going to take a pin or something that's very fine and poke a hole through it. The, the smaller the hole, the, the clearer the image is going to be. This hole here, the, or this, this outline here is for a hole that we're going to put and that's going to be for your eye. So what's going to happen is the sun is going to shine down into here. So it'll be behind you or above you, right? And then you're going to look through here. And then in there, you're going to see a small uh, image of the, the sun and then the moon passing right over it. So I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, uh, you know, take my scissors, cut this out, and then um, go ahead and put foil on top of it. And that's all you need to do. And then uh, you'll be all set to go. So let's, let's see how that looks. So here we are. I have completed the Eclipse Viewer and added some text here. Uh, please excuse the very poor job here. But the reason I made this is to show you guys how easy it is to make. I ended up cutting a hole here and then pasting foil here using tape. Here is where you're going to look through. I poked a hole using a bobby pin. And the smaller the hole, the higher the resolution of the image is going to be on here. Uh, the reason you'd want to make something like this is because the lens in your eye, they act like a magnifying glass when you look at the sun. So it can cause retinal damage and you do not have pain receptors there. So you won't even know you've damaged your eyes. Um, but, but do not look directly into the sun when, when there's an eclipse. Don't even attempt it, not even for a few seconds or a glance. The best way to do it is using this. The, sun's, the sun is gonna shine through that and it's gonna project an image into there. I just tested it and I could even see clouds, which is crazy. Uh, and and I, I've never expected it to be like that. So um, let's, let's see how it looks here. So this is the image that you kind of see it's a little blurry in the phone, but you can you can see it. In the, this is the image in the box, so you can see a little bit of the clouds. I'm gonna try to zoom in there, but see what you're the way you're supposed to use this is the sun is over there, okay, and you want to get the sun directly into that hole. Once you do that, you look through the the viewfinder here, and you'll be able to see an image of the sun. So unfortunately. For demonstration purposes, I can't do it well, but I'll try to try to get it as best as possible. Again, I'm trying to zoom in or, or trying to focus, but the image is actually pretty nice. There's, you can see the clouds, and what you'll be able to see during the solar eclipse is the outline of the moon going over that dot that you're seeing, and and actually being able to see that without having to look at the sun directly. Now, this thing didn't cost me anything. It was real quick to make. Uh, if you look at the edges, I've taped around them. I've even improvised and put kind of like a Sharpie marker. Sorry, it's a little bit blurry. 
but I've put the Sharpie just to kind of block out the light. You, what you want to do is block out all the light you can from the edges and then put your, put your eye or face right up against this and the image that you see will surprise you. So if you don't have solar glasses, um, then this is the best way to, to actually look at the solar eclipse. A lot of optometrists say that this is the only way. Um, the glasses don't protect you all the way, so depending on how much you care about your vision, uh, either make this or get the glasses. Other than that, hope you guys enjoy the, the Great American Eclipse on Monday, August 20, 21st, uh, 2017. It should be a spectacular event, and hopefully you guys create something like this to help you view it. Thanks, guys.